Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 761. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 761 to 770, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about a type of average called mode. Now, there are many different kinds of averages, and if you're not quite sure that there are different ty types of averages, Excel Magic Trick 243 and Excel Statistics Video 34 has a great summary of the different some of the different types of averages. Just as a, a brief review here, though, mean, you use the average function that adds them all up, divides by the count. That's good for numerical data. Median is good when there are outliers, which means extremely big or low values. It sorts them in memory and takes the one in the middle. It's a great way of getting a typical value when there are outlier, outliers. Real estate agents love that. And mode is a type of average, usually used for qualitative data but in some cases used for numerical data. It just shows you, gives you, returns the item that returns the largest number of times. Now, in 2007 and earlier versions, you always used the mode, M-O-D-E. But in 2010, there's now a single and a multiple. We're going to look at the multiple in this video. The single is exactly like the old mode function. The problem with single is that it returns the first one it encounters if there are is more than one mode. So for example, if an item occurs three times, but there's three items that returns three times, the old function just couldn't deal with that. So no problem. They invented a new called mode.mult. Now I did the, um, a video on this new function Excel Magic Trick 536, but guess what? In that video, <coughs> excuse me, I used the beta version of Excel 2010, and it behaved different than it does now. Here's what happened in, uh, here's what's happening now if you use this. Now, I happen to know that there are three modes here, but oftentimes you want to enter your function in in many, many rows and have it just automatically as you populate values here as, as the values change, just change up or down. If there's one, we want to see one. If there's three, I want to see three. The problem is if you do this, and I we know that there are three, so I'm going to highlight this whole value here, Control shift down on then F4 just to jump the function back up. Now, this is an array function, so you have to highlight the values in advance and enter it as an array function. It's going to return multiple items. Now let's do it. Control Shift and Enter. Now in the beta version, it, it there was uh, no problem. And with these NAs, we could come up here and edit this. We could say, uh, if error, then show a blank. Right, so the if error function we just slapped the the whoops we just slapped in the value the mode dot mult and then show a blank if that gets an error control shift enter and it, it worked in the beta but it doesn't work now so here's a way around this uh, we'll learn something else interesting too I'm going to use the count function I know there's three right because I'm for our formula that's going to return just the modes and not show NAs. Uh, we need to count how many there are up front. So I'm going to do my mode and I'll highlight this whole range. Control Shift down on F4 just to jump it back up here. Now wait a second. This is an array function that has to be entered with Control Shift uh, Enter. And just to show you that it's going to return three values. I'm going to highlight it and hit F9. So we could see it's creating an array in this formula, Control C. But for some reason, I'm going to hit Enter. And it's doing it correctly. I don't see any curly brackets up here. I went and looked at the help trying to see, oh, if you enter it inside of a wrapper function, if it would not require Control Shift Enter, and it didn't say anything. If I ch add a 6 here, uh, let's see, no, not a 6, Control Z. If I add a, how about a 6 down here? Now there should be 4. And so it's working fine, totally amazing. So if you put it in a function like this to count, so this is a great formula for just counting how many modes there are. All right, but now let's go ahead and build our formula because we want to display them. I'm going to delete a 6 here and put a, a 15. So now we only have 3. But let's go ahead and do this. Equals if, 
And I need to turn this formula off when it gets past the third row and show a blank down here. So I'm going to say um, I need a number incrementer. So as I f copy the formula down, something will uh, tell us, give us the numbers one, two, three, four inside the formula. So I'm going to use the rows function. And I'm sitting in C14. So C dollar sign 14 colon C14. Since one of them is locked, one of them's not. It'll give us the numbers 1, 2, 3. Right now, 14 to 14, it's going to give 1. But because this isn't locked, when it goes down, that'll turn to 15, and it'll give 2, 3, et cetera. All right, rows, anytime that is greater than our count here. And I'm going to lock that. That's the logical test. Well, what do we want if it's greater than the third row? We want a double quote for blank. We want to show a blank. Otherwise, now, that mult the mult function there, mode mult function, is going to return array. So I'm going to put use the index and look up those values. The value I'm going to give it inside of the array is just the mode mult. And I said mult, that's a different function. It's actually mold, mode mult we're doing. And I'm going to highlight this whole range. And just as we saw earlier, um, if you highlight it and hit F9, you can see, sure enough, it's an array. And the index can handle an array. Control Z. And what do we want? Simply 1, 2, 3. Because that's a vertical array. The mode.mult returns a vertical array. And it's got three values. So I'm just going to use the same number incrementer in the row argument for index. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and that's it. Uh, now if I just enter this and copy it down, copy it down like this, It'll work just fine. Totally amazing. Now, wait a second. Over here, we had to enter um, mo.mult as an array, but here we didn't. We just, boom, that index right there can handle it. So just enter it and copy it down. Now, if we change this back to 6, we could see we have a dynamic range of values that can pull out anytime there are multiple modes. All right, we'll see you next trick.